Having fun up here. That, that cupcake, cupcake was so good. I inhaled it. I know. Completely. It was just fantastic, wasn't it? Unbelievable. You said I disappeared, but really I was just trying to show some love to the people over here. Well, that's very sweet of you. You know? You know? Nick was all like, oh, I'll win this game. I was like, no, whatever. Are you guys competitive? Oh, yeah, all way competitive. Really? We get really competitive. Any sports we do, it's like, it's on. Uh -huh. Only like wristband passing out. You know, <laughs> yeah. it's always. When we, yeah, when we do our wristband passing out, it's just on a, a daily basis. Yeah. It gets crazy. Uh huh. Okay, I'm gonna read you a little quote. Okay. Okay. You probably know it, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Live like you're at the bottom, even if you're at the top. Yes. Tell us about that. What does that mean yeah. to you guys? This is um, something that our dad has told us from the very beginning mm -hmm. um, when we first started doing this. And he's just said, you know, live like at the bottom, even to the top, which basically means stay humble and um, keep the right attitude. And that's, I think that's a hard thing to do in this industry. And you guys are doing it well. Everybody Thank says how so lovely much. and sweet you are. You. We're just, you know, really thankful to have each other to talk to at the end of the day. Um, you know, we have our family, and we've always been real big on keeping the family together. And that's why we travel, you know, mom, dad, our little brother who's seven, Frankie. Yeah, Frankie. And, um, you know, just keep it, keep, it all, keep it all together. Are they here today? Uh, dad is here. Um, yep. My little brother and, and my mom, are, they're not here yet for today, but hopefully they'll... Uh, They'll be, be back in Canada with us again soon. Because they travel around with you most of the time, everywhere. right? Yes. They travel everywhere. We love it. It's so much fun. It's cool to have the family together. It must be so nice. Oh, you got to meet Frankie, too. Really? So. Is he adorable? Oh, oh yeah. But, it, you know, when I see your parents in interviews, I saw your dad, and he said something really amazing. He said that their first priority as parents is to make you guys good people. That's their first priority. Definitely. And he said he's not raising boys. He's raising men, husbands, and fathers, yes. which is really nice. Definitely. He's an amazing guy. They all scream. They're like husbands. They're like, ah! They're like, we want to marry you! Do you guys want to marry the Jonas Brothers? I guess that's a yes, right? People always ask us, so what do you say to that? We're like, well, we usually typically say, well, what's your name? <laughs> and that always, you know, helps yeah, the conversation Yeah, you need to know start. their name yeah. before you get married exactly. or engaged. There's some legal matters to take care of. Now, is this weird for you? Like, How could it be? This is amazing. It's, it's the coolest thing. Mm -hmm. it's, it, is, it is a crazy feeling. I think the moments when you play in front of maybe like a really big crowd one night and say a couple thousand people and then you go back into your hotel room that night and it's just you. That's kind of like a weird changing of worlds. But um, I mean, we love it. Every second is amazing. So what do you do when you get back to your hotel room after all that craziness? We usually like to talk about the concert and uh, sit yeah. around, eat a lot of food. Yeah, order tons of We're room We're really service. hungry. What would you be eating if you could? Pizza. Ooh. Pizza? Pizza, club sandwich, cheeseburger, those are always good choices. Buffalo Definitely. wings. Anything, basically. All Everything. the good stuff. The whole menu. <laughs> but fame to me, you know, I'm on the outside of it, and I just think this is so crazy. It's so amazing. We you think know? it's crazy, too. Like, to have all these this girls show up here. We really love this. This is a really cool thing. Thank you, guys. Can Here's you the go best. to the mall? Like, can you do normal things now? Well, it's been um, about a month and a half to two months since we've been back um, you know, here in, in North America. And um, I think for us, it, you know, we don't really know because we've been in Europe, Europe and yeah. things are still pretty new there. And, um, you know, coming here is, is amazing. We feel right back at home. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to take a phone call right now. We have phone call. Claire on the phone. Claire, are you there? Down here. Hello? Oh, hello? hello. Okay, Hi. My question for you guys is, um, what has been the most thrilling thing that has happened to you guys? Ooh. What was that? What, is, what has, what has been, been the most thrilling thing oh, wow. that has happened to you? Um, oh, definitely this is, this might going be one of the biggest to much ones. music, I have to say. Yeah. It's a highlight. It's oh, right my God. Really? That's Look, a good answer, right? Yeah, no, I, this is crazy. You know, Nick kind of touched on it earlier, and we found out that our song had been added to a radio station for the first time when we were filming Camp Rock at that Starbucks, which is across the street from Much Music. Just full circle. A full, yeah. Mm -hmm. The fact that we're here now today is beyond surreal. You guys are unbelievable. 
We have Tim with another audience question. Speaking of unbelievable, Tim, where yeah. are you? 